Saints, I pray that you are well and are enjoying this Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving season, depending on when you're watching this video. I'm pretty excited because we have an awesome set of reading in this upcoming week, and I want to just highlight a few things for you to pay attention to. And so in this upcoming week of Bible reading, we will finish Paul's letter to the Romans, and then we'll read the majority of the first letter to the Corinthians. These are two of the most famous and well-known and most often quoted um, letters of Paul as well as books in our entire New Testament, so they're pretty cool. So one thing to look forward to is that in the reading for Friday, um, there it starts on Romans chapter 8, and contained from this part of Romans throughout the rest are some of the most inspiring parts of the book. Why do I say that? Well, several of the spiritual champions uh, that we celebrate in the history of the church, including St. Augustine, including John Wesley, found their spirits in particularly warmed uh, as they read Romans chapter eight and beyond. And so I invite you to read it, read it closely, and be taken by all that Paul has to say about the faith, about God's grace, and about God's presence in our lives. And so it's pretty exciting. And then we have the letter to the Corinthians, which the first letter to the Corinthians, which is the sort of more normal or standard of the letters uh, that we'll get a chance to read in this upcoming week. And so as you're reading it, just pay attention to how do you think Paul feels about how they are doing uh, as a newer community of faith. And as we move on, some of it will be very, very familiar. And so I hope you'll enjoy it. It's pretty awesome. And I look forward to hearing your thoughts about it as well. Um, contained within this upcoming week's reading is also the oldest record that we can look at that describes how one does communion. You might remember there are accounts of the Last Supper in the Gospels, but these letters were written first. So there's great history and there's great stuff as well. I look forward to seeing you soon. Peace.